Yep. Touch gloves and we're underway. And they are swinging. Uh, McFry caught a kick, puts them down, and now they're grounded opponents. They can no longer strike to the head. And immediately... He lets them up. Looks like he wants to strike. Nice spin and back fist, though. He lets them up. He go for a takedown. He's got to tuck that, that, that head down lower to the, to the uh, hip. Go for a headlock. So he's got here. like a bully choke on right now. Carlson Gracie guy is in trouble. He fought off the hands though right now. It looks like he's okay. Oh, he's flattening him out. It's starting to sink underneath the chin. Cole Young's about to look to put in the boots and really stretch him out. He needs to get his legs inside the man's hips so he can break him down oh, a little bit. He's got that arm underneath the, the uh, armpit. Yeah, it's like a bully choke. Okay. It's a Rocky Pennington uh, yes. there. But And they break. They yeah, break. McBride is out. No problems. Uh, he's coming back, though. Jarrett McBride is coming back, and he's, he's swinging those legs. Not even throwing a jab. He's just swinging the legs. David looked a little tired. His Ooh. hands are down. He just took a big shot. Connects with a straight left. He threw a head kick, which is illegal, but it did not connect. The, the uh, referee's in there looking right now. Uh, Jarrett McBride with the takedown. A good takedown. He lets him up. It looks like uh, McBride's game plan is to stay on the feet so he can do damage. It looks like he doesn't want to mess around on the ground with yeah, the no ground upon. I want to note, uh, both fighters are succumbing to the adrenaline rush right now because they are... Ooh. Oh, there they go. That was a big shot right in the back of the head. It's not an illegal strike to the back of the head if your opponent uh, turns his body and makes you hit him. That's right. Another exchanging uh, kicks to the body. Oh, that kick looked a little low. Looks like McBride's all right, yeah. though. Ooh. Big heavy shot. Leather, heavy leather. The, you know, the size disparity, I don't think, is... Uh, and I don't think the size uh, disparity is, is weighing on this fight right now. It looks like there's a size disparity, but they look pretty evenly matched strength-wise. Yeah. Just a regular headlock. Now he's got a deep rear naked choke. It's under the chin. He's got... He doesn't have any hooks in right now, so if he turns... He's going to come out. Now he needs to pop that hook out, start to stand up, a hand fight. He's not fighting the hands, though. He's got one hand right on the mat. Yeah. There he goes, up and out. Uh, he, should get, he should get left hand underneath the head and right hand uh, at the hip here. Because these, these knees from the ground, they're not particularly fast, but they were, he was able to get to his feet, and he takes, yep. a, he takes a shot backing up. McBride just wanted him on the feet, I think. He likes to stand and bang. Cole is not breathing hard at all, it doesn't look like. No, he's very relaxed right now. Nice trip. He should just hang on here. They got a couple seconds left. There you go. He's definitely winning the rounds, or winning that round for sure. Cole, Cole Young put in a lot of hard work on that round, but yeah. definitely McBride took that I, round. I would, I would agree. Have made, that's, that's a 10-9. It's a 10-9 round for Jared at least. We are underneath uh, the new scoring system for Western, uh, for all of New York. If uh, the three Ds are met, it would make it a 10-8 round. The three Ds are duration, damage. And duration damage. Uh, I forgot the other one. I got it written down though. I wish I knew what your three Ds were. I thought it was aggression and cage control. It's damage, duration, and do uh, dominance now. You're right, you're right. So with the new rules, if you uh, inflict a lot of damage and you're uh, winning the round for a long time, which would be duration, it should be considered a, uh, it could be considered a 10-8 round. Yeah. If all three of the Ds are, are met with dominance, duration, and damage, it would be definitely a 10-8 round. So we're trying to encourage more 10-8 rounds. Yes. But that was definitely nothing going on. It was a very even fight. Uh, it should be, definitely be a 10-9 round, I think. I would agree. We're starting round two of uh, Cole Young versus Jarrett McBride here at uh, Welterweight. And they're back underway. Once again, this fight is brought to you by Cloud9 and U.S. Army. Jarrett content to throw leg kicks without any, any follow-up punches. Cole is, wow. Big slam. Heck of a takedown there. Jarrett McBride is getting the takedowns. He's just letting him up. Maybe his, yeah. his whole game plan is to win on points and beat him up. And Jarrett can lock in a Von Flute choke here if he were to not worry so much about the grip. It looks like Cole is hanging on to a, a guillotine. It's hard to tell from this angle. Yeah, most, most guillotine chokes are not going to work on any kind of experienced grappler if you don't have some sort of leg involvement. 
without being able to use your whole body, it's, it's really hard to squeeze your arms and choke somebody Jared out. Looks like he's fishing for a Kimura. Uh, he may just be trying to get out. It looks like he has a, a grip on him here. McBride is on the back now. Neither one of these guys are really much for throwing their hooks in. No. Do you think that's because of the shin pads? It's, it's much more difficult I, to, to I, fish in your hooks with shin that, pads on. Now that you mention it, yes. The shin, I can't imagine the shin pads are conducive to hooks. Cole Young just threw some illegal punches, and the referee's been warning him. Yep. We well, just kicked him right in the coccyx. Yes, 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 yes. That was a very good damaging blow. It sucks when you get kicked in the coccyx. That tailbone, man. Underrated. <laughs> Underrated. Cole, Cole Young's fishing for a guillotine, but he's got the arm in. Jared McBride should be able to defend. He should be throwing his arm like up Jared, over his shoulder. I feel like Jared at some point here is going to... Once there again, he did not involve his legs, well, which makes it control. very difficult to He's finish. in side control now. Cole should be letting go of that grip on his head and uh, swinging his hips around, trying to get the full guard here. It'll be uh, interesting to see when they stand back up how much juice Cole has left in his arms. He's been yeah. squeezing a guillotine for almost six minutes now. Cole put uh, a lot of energy in this last one here, but the problem was he put so much of his back into it. Oh, oh we got an arm bar right here. Sure. Yeah. He's got it extended good. He needs to really go. With, the rule is you always want the pinky touching whatever way you're going to go. So he's, nah, now he's getting under the armpit. Now he needs to, to go to his left. If, oh, that arm is that looking looks bad. hyperextended right now. That looks bad. Cole is staying with it, though. He's got to roll his hips. It's hard for the referee to tell how flexible a guy is. Some guys are really flexible and their arms will go in that direction. True. Now he can, show, he can lock up a... Uh, nice escape. Up. Very good escape. Now we're going to see what kind of resolve that um, Jared McBride has because I'm sure he thought he was going to win that fight with that arm bar. Yeah. And now he's back up on the feet. Oh, and now he just gave up his back trip, and 10 trip. seconds left. Cole ends up on top. Yeah. Hard to score that round uh, at first glance. What do you think? I think that right now Jared McBride is winning two rounds to none. You think so? But I could I could see an argument for either way on that, that round. That was exciting. I mean, either way you look at it, that was an exciting round. I thought it was pretty even all the way around, but I think the armbar was really deep. And yeah. to me, that was close, the closest thing that we've had to finish in the fight so That's far. True. So I would score that round for Jared McBride. But it looked like he had it at one point, but Cole, I think he kept, he kept moving, uh, twisting his arm. Yeah. Also with the new scoring rules, uh, immediate impact is way more heavy than cumulative impact. So that means oh. who's ever closer to finishing the fight rather than, uh, you know, the pitter-patter type punches should be the one that wins the round. So I would Very say... Very of you, caveman. Yeah, so I would say with that in mind, I would say that uh, McBride won that round. However, these rules, these rules are brand new, so we'll see how well the judges are implementing them. Yeah, frankly, it takes, it takes months, if not years, I think, to adapt these kind of rules. So we may see too many 10-8 rounds, or we may not see enough. Well, at the pro level, we definitely see uh, an influx of 10-8 rounds, which I think could confuse a lot of viewers. But One of our uh, judges sit ringside, um, Tim, also does timekeeping for the UFC. So oh. he, he's definitely experienced at the UFC level. Wow, OK. Nothing but the best for FCP. Third round here at Welterweight. Both guys look a little fatigued, but McBride looks fresher. Nice teep. Cole Young looks like he might be having that adrenaline drop that you get in your yes. first fight. Yep. His he, hands are really low right now. But he he's fighting through it. He is not backing down. Both these guys are warriors in a cage right now. And he's taking it to McBride. I think his corner probably told him he was down 2 nothing. It's hard for us to hear the corners. They're not mic'd up. Yeah, it is hard to hear the corners. Very good takedown. Nice roll through. He's got a guillotine, and he almost pulled him out right now. He needs a... Start getting his legs out because he's going to pull him right on top of him. He's going to be mounted. Now, if he gets his bicep underneath there, he can he can fish for a... Nice sweep. That was a good sweep. I thought he was going to go for a, a, a Darce joke. He's kind of set up for a Peruvian necktie right now. If he knows it, just jump up and take it. Yeah. But they're back to the feet almost in the front headlock position. Oh, he goes for another takedown nope. and he gets swept. Once again, Cole gets the takedown, but he's swept immediately by McBride. So essentially, that takedown should not be scored. Right. Well, yeah, it would be like um, really like McBride scored a takedown. Yeah. But he's putting a lot of effort in. 
McBride ends up in uh, the most dominant position. Oh, he, he just kicked him in the head. I he believe did. that should be a foul. That should be a foul. He's allowed to knee, just not to the head. Looked like McBride gave him almost went knee on face. So they gave it back to him. Yeah. Singing in case of Katami right now, but he sat back too far, and now Cole Young is able to bring his legs into the game. But once again, McBride was just too strong. Are you, so, are you impressed with how, how much Cole Young is able to do from bottom position here? I'm very impressed by the young man in general. For your first fight to come out, I mean, he left it all in the cage for two rounds, and he's still fighting hard. You could just see how tired he is. He looks so much more relaxed compared to what I did in my fight. Yeah, a caveman almost takes a nap during his fights. Sometimes I do take naps, so yeah. <laughs> sometimes it's not on my own doing, though. No. <laughs> Back to the feet. I think McBride's playing for points now. I think he knows he's ahead. He's tried to score some time on top there. Likely a smart thing to do. Cole looks tough. Oh, nice back fist. If I was McBride, I'd try and put a nice four-punch combination together. <clears throat> A devastating leg kick nice. he falls down. Cole Young falls down from the leg kick. Oh, another swing and a miss. McBride's going to get another takedown here probably. He needs to drive through. Yeah, he's worried about his head now. He that guillotine might have, uh, the, either the guillotine or the boy choke might have affected him. It may have. A little scared to put his head back in there. Ten seconds left in this round. I say go for it. Yeah, these seconds. guys are just standing there. When he looks back at this tape, he's going to... Uh, Regret those couple seconds if he loses the decision. Nice to uh, nice comeback there. I think Cole Young took the third round. I would agree with that. He looks fresh at the end of the round as well. Sometimes you get that adrenaline dump. It hits you right in the middle of the round. By the end of the round, you feel good again. You're ready to fight some more. Yep. Three full rounds here. We're going to the decision uh, at welterweight. Cole Young versus Jared McBride. I'm interested to see what the refs do. I mean, I'm going to be keen on listening to what the actual scores are here. I, I will too. 29-28, I say, on one card. 29-28 the other way on both cards for uh, our man, Jarrett McBride. That's not the official score, that's just no. my prediction. Yeah. Videographers in the cage, look at that rig, man. FCP is really stepping up. Yes, they are. Great camera angles on YouTube. Make sure you check off all the fights. And we're going to be shouting out to all the sponsors, like U.S. Army and Cloud9 for sponsoring this fight. It's a great fight. Actually, looking at Cole Young, it looks like he's ready to do some more rounds. He does, right? Young man's got quite a bit of uh, cardio in him. You can tell like how much training guys put in by how they are after the fight. Yeah. He, it looks like he left a little bit in the cage. I'm, I'm sure he's going to regret coming back the last eight seconds if he loses the fight. It's, it's possible, but you know he was swinging uh, hay haymakers and, uh, and back fists a little too liberally. He'll learn, though. He'll learn when he watches the tape. McBride looks to be in a little discomfort now that the adrenaline fight's wearing off. Yeah. His neck's going to be sore tomorrow from all the guillotines that he was I in. I think so, too. And that may have played a big factor in this fight because Cole Young was squeezing for, I would say, at least six minutes of this fight. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he put a lot of energy into those chokes. So if you're at home, what you should do is you should go grab a pillow and squeeze it as hard as you can for six minutes and then go try and punch a punch him back and see how your arms feel. Yeah, all the blood rushes into your muscles are not in a good way. It's not good news to throw it. No, not good news for, for uh, anything in your body. The ringside doctor's in the ring right now. It's hard to tell what's going on, but it looks like Jared's having difficulty breathing. It could be an arm or... It's hard to tell. It looks like he was holding his arm earlier, too. I didn't even touch it. You know, he might just be uh, hyperventilating. It's his third fight, though. You think it's probably some sort of injury for three fights in to be this... Just distraught after a fight is a little unusual. It's hard to say, but he looks like he's going to need help to stand. He's, got, he's going to collapse. That was a really tough fight. He was choked for a lot, a lot of it.
I think they got the winner right, but I really thought that um, Cole Young took that third round. I would agree, um, but it looks like it was a unanimous 30-27, huh? Yeah. That